Hello. Hello everyone. Hello. Oh my God. I went to make tea and I come back and you guys are sending a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I wasn't gone for that long, but I did miss you guys. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, Mitsuru, thank you for the five gifted. Uh, Apple, thank you for the ten gifted. Ellen, thank you for the five gifted. Esper, Apple, Spider, and Dorahi, thank you all for the ten gifted. Oh my god. Wait. And Ra, thank you for the five gifted as well. Four days. Did it feel like a long time? <laughs> yeah, I did do many voice tweets during the break. It's kind of 
it was wild because since I was up there, um, there wasn't a lot of service. So, you know, the hiking voice tweet, I like sat on a rock and waited like five minutes for it to upload. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I, I wanted to play Color Tile again. Um, I first played Color Tile on Mikoto Senpai's stream. Um, and I got hooked, so I wanted to put it somewhere in my schedule, and I thought this would be the perfect time because it's a chill game, where we can just talk, and I can update you guys on my break and stuff, um, <clears throat> and tell you guys, you know, stories. Yeah, it's a chill game. It's, you know, well, it's meant to be a chill game. <laughs> the tiles look tasty. You know what? They do look tasty. I'll give you that. You can hear it, right? I don't want to put... Wait, let me... I'm going to lower it because you know how before when we were playing it on Mikoto Senpai stream when it finishes it plays like a loud sound um but for those of you that don't know how the game works basically there's all these different colors you click on one space and the adjacent tiles have to match so if I click this one here for example we have this light blue one and then another light blue one so those two would um would fall out similarly i could click on this one and then two of these could go out but if there's like a purple and if there was another purple along this line then you know i could get all four of them out pretty simple Yeah, it's like a logic game. You'll understand like when I when I actually start playing. But um Yeah, I I'm going to be I'm going to be real. I don't feel that rested. Honestly, this break we hiked like basically every day. So, I feel like I did not really rest. Um, so I'm, I'm actually like exhausted. <laughs> Uki Fever, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Let me put in the, let me put a pinned message, um, with the link of the game so that you guys can play with me. There we go. In case you wanted to play as well, the link is pinned now. <laughs> you can't play with me, but I mean like, you know, you can play along with me. Yutsun, thank you for the gifted. Thank you, thank you. Um... I forgot what I was gonna say. What was I going to say? Someone said something. Yo, my brain has been in a fog the entire time I've been back. Oh my god.
Oh, Cupcake Latte, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hiked a lot. You know, the air was fresher. That's, that's the thing, right? Oh, pretty views. Yes, thank you for asking me. Um, I took photos. Uh, I will post them later tonight after the stream. I was supposed to post it earlier today, but I forgot. So. <clears throat> but yeah, there was some nice views. Um, you know, a lot of these trails, let me tell you, a lot of these trails will tell you, oh, this is family friendly. This is an easy, easy for everyone, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't trust any of these bitches anymore because all of those reviews are from people who hike actively, you know? So to them, to them, this trail might be easy as hell. But when I got there, you know, Five minutes into the trail, you know, for every trail, I was breathing heavily. Um, some of this, some of the trails is like, there was one easy one that we did that like, there was one easy one that we did that was pretty flat. Um, and then there was another one, uh, I feel like I should be playing the game actually, so let me just, let me just get started. Um, but yeah, there was one trail that was like, pretty flat, and then there was another trail where it was so steep and I literally thought like <laughs> I thought it was over for me I was just like yo this is going so high up and it's steep and I feel like I'm climbing a mountain I don't know what's going on um and then there's another one that I felt like I was I was in Bridge to Terabithia. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if any of you have seen that movie, but I felt like I was in Bridge to Terabithia. So in total, we did complete two trails, but. Uh, the steep one we did not do successfully. And I think that's fine because these trails is hard. <laughs> it was too hard for me. It's too hard to be physically fit, okay? Oh my God. I'm like trying to tell a story, but then I also want to get as many as possible. Oh, sheesh. Um, you guys get how the game works though, right? Very self- Oh my god. Fuck me. <laughs> Very self-explanatory. Um. This sound scared the shit out of me, even though- Even though I lowered it. 112. N not bad for... Me playing while telling a story. Um. But yeah, ideally, you know, I wanted to relax and rest, but at the same, but at the same time, I didn't want, you know, to stop other people from doing what they want to do. So that's how we ended up hiking majority of the time. Um, we did check out the little town area though, that was close to the trails. Uh, we stayed there a lot because, you know, up in the mountains there's not much and the there's only a few restaurants or stores that everyone goes to 
at the same time. So we did that as well. Um, the food was okay. Um, let me think. <laughs> yeah, the food was okay. There was one place that I really liked. Um, small town debuff. Honestly, though, everything's in one place. I guess it's easier for everyone to just get to get to things. Um. But, okay, this is a story. There was this one store um, where we saw it and we didn't think much of it. We were just like, oh, this is this. It's just like an unassuming little, little boutique store, whatever. And we decided to just check it out because... <clears throat> We felt like, you know, nothing to lose. We have time to kill. Why not just check it out? And we went in and this, there was this old lady um, in charge of the store. And she was so sweet and so cute and so nice. We had the best time in that store. We, it was like the first store we went into and we stayed in there for so long. She was so cute. I wasn't gonna buy anything. I thought I wasn't gonna buy anything. But turns out... Turns out the universe had other plans for me. So, um... I ended up spending a lot of money there. Um... I can't tell you guys what kind of clothes I got, unfortunately, but I got some cool shit, yo. I I got these, one of the best pants I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, they were so comfy. They were super comfy and Oh my god, fuck me. All right, hold on. I'm going to really put it a tiny. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this was to be a chill game. Anyway, um, yeah, I bought these amazing pants. I bought them in two colors. Um, they were very, uh, they're one of those pants where, um, the top is kind of like elastic, so you can, how do I describe it? Like you can pull it up high waisted or you can wear it low, whatever. And then the bottom parts are, were looser. And they had these deep pockets on both sides. Yo, when I tell you, I put on those pants and I was like, this is the perfect pair of pants for me. It was, it was great. I wish I could, sh I wish I could show you the pants, but oh man, they're so, they're so good. I, I didn't think I would find these like really cool pieces in these stores but there we go and then i also bought a sweater that was um it's crazy because the the store had a lot of these sweaters that were they were like handmade that kind of feeling there's so many of them and they're so soft and she was selling it to us like oh you know these pants uh, sorry the these sweaters are perfect because they're one size and you could wear them slouchy or whatever they're very um you know they're not structured and you can throw them into the laundry and it's one of those pieces that you know they get better over time because with wear it becomes a little looser it becomes more slouchier 
and it felt nice. And even though I was like, I, well, I don't know if I need another sweater, but I'll try it on. And it was, it was great. I didn't notice that on each side, there was these slits that it wasn't like deep slits, but it was nice slits to where there would be like a little peekaboo, like a little triangle of skin that shows. Um, so that really sold me. And then I bought one more thing that was like, like it, it was like a shirt dress. It was like a shirt dress and it had a pattern that I normally don't wear. I normally don't wear this pattern and, but I decided to give it a try and turns out I really liked it. Um, so yeah, I spend it, I spend it. I spent a lot of money in that store. Um, and she was so sweet telling us how like we made the clothes look very cool. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was just very, it felt really good being around her. So. I'm very glad that, you know, we all went inside to check it out. Um, I wanted to say bye to her before we left. Um, but sadly, we did not have time for that. But I will remember her forever. As the cute old shopkeeper that sold us these handmade goods and also the best pants I've ever worn in my life. I'll remember her forever. And who knows, I may go back. Um, actually, I don't know because I don't want to go hiking ever again. But, <laughs> but you know, I don't know. There's a chance, maybe one day or something. Um, oh my god. Okay, see, that's a, that, that was a little more gentle. I'm getting better as we go along. This is great. Um, but yeah, I remember her very, very distinctly. And she was like trying to, um, they didn't really have a lot of high tech equipment in that store which made it even you know even more of that vintage feel because she was writing down all the prices with a pen by hand and calculating the tax on a calculator and she kept apologizing for like taking too long or not being able to do the math quickly um but we were just like don't even worry about it we could stay in here forever so don't please take your time and don't worry cottage core you know yeah kind of it felt very cottage core ish um it was so oh so sweet i would go back to that area just to visit that store again um And what was even funnier was after she had, you know, gone through all of us and we all made our purchases. It started raining outside. It was like a little, you know, a little squall, a little passing rain. And it was like the universe was telling us to stay inside the store. She looked at us and she was like, well, if you guys would like to check out all of our lovely clothes. <laughs> this is so cute. She was so adorable. Yo, honestly, Haven from Life is Strange. I know we played Life is Strange recently. That's what I thought. Like, I felt like I was in Haven. That was the kind of feel that this place had. Very Haven-ish. 
but that makes sense because you know it's like a small town everything is around each other yeah very cute um very much a place where you know you would retire after you've lived your life to the fullest um peaceful everything <laughs> everything opened pretty late and also closed pretty early so that was bizarre would she be Eleanor then oh my god maybe maybe uh minus the you know I don't want to spoil yeah um let me think something else that I was not prepared for was like I didn't realize in these places they don't really have street lights that kind of freaked me out a little bit um they didn't have street lights So a lot of the time when you're driving, and it's nighttime, all you have to guide you is your headlights. And you know, I wasn't that scared because, you know, it is what it is. Um, but it was definitely an experience. Um. <laughs> driving around and just being like oh well no one is here it's dark um it feels like low-key like we're in a horror movie but <clears throat> but that's okay because um it's safe out here don't think too much about it <laughs> um i wasn't afraid i was fine with it it was just that every so often because of the because there were no street lights um, on a lot of the homes there were little what's it called little like stickers or indicators for cars to see that like shine back at you so that you know oh watch out this is like someone's house or watch out this is someone's mailbox you know some shit like that and oh my god oh, sorry <laughs> um and a lot of the time it, they looked like little eyes in the night yeah the reflective stickers Small towns do that, yeah, because they have to, because there's no street lights. And then, so a lot of them were like red little stickers, reflective stickers on trees or stuff like that. And so they kind of looked like little red eyes in the night. Um, I was fine with it. You know, some of the people I was with, they were like, it's kind of scary. It looks like they're staring at you. And... But then I just said, you know, just think of it as if they just think of it as if they built their eyes that belong to like forest spirits that are protecting the area because, you know, it's all there's a lot of wildlife and greenery. The forest is watching. Yeah, just think of it as like forest spirits or something. <clears throat> Safety spirits, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Let me think. Not a lot of crazy stuff happened during my break because most of the time we were just hiking or outside looking at stores and stuff. Um, there was this one store that I wanted to go into that was closed the entire time, sadly. Um, they had some, like, witchy stuff, so I was excited, but it was closed, so kind of sad that I didn't get to go in there. Do 
Did you see any wildlife? Yeah, I saw some deer. Literal deer in headlights. Can you pat them? No. It, I don't think it's good to bother the wildlife, especially if you're on the road. It was my first experience with, you know, driving and then a deer running into the road. We weren't like super close to it, um, but it still scared us. <laughs> Jimmy Bear. Nope. There, there were signs though that um, were saying to be careful of bears and also rattlesnakes um, and ticks. So luckily we didn't encounter any of them. Yeah, that happens in rural areas. Yeah, I didn't know. I saw the thing. It said rattlesnakes and I was like, what do you mean rattlesnakes? They're, they're here? <laughs> Wild. Um. You know what else? People who don't live in, people who live in these areas that are small towns, everyone is so nice. Everyone, for some reason, everyone is so fucking nice. Like, why? Why are you so nice for? I was, I was like, because you know, I don't, tr I don't trust people. So I was like, for what reason? Why are they so nice? They're a little too nice. What do they get out of it? What do they get out of being nice? Oh, we didn't do campfire. Um, it would have been too much work. We, we took it easy for a lot of the time. We didn't do like camping or whatever. The way everyone greets you, it freaks me out. I don't know you. Exactly. You're just walking around and then... Uh, this old white couple passes by you and they're like, hello, whatever. And I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> Can I help you? Why did we don't know each other? Why did you say hello? Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? What business do you have with me? And you know, by the time I'm thinking all these thoughts, they're like, they've already moved on and walked down the street and kept minding their business. But you know, I can't, you can't always. I grew up always having to be on alert, okay? I mean, I'm still on alert when I go outside. So, um, that's that. You never know. <laughs> You always got to be ready for whatever happens. Also, Dinian, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. My my mod, let me know. Um, Mish, thank you for the five gifted from the stream on the 14th um, that I forgot to read. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you live in a big city, you just mind, everyone minds their business. You do what you do. But when you live in a small town, your business is everyone else's business, whether you like it or not. And everyone's, everyone else's business becomes your business. I don't really like that. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure the town had things to say. Um, 
because you know all these white people are out here and it's just like where all these asian people come from <laughs> um yeah What can I say? Um, you know, I've never finished one of these in completion because it's so difficult. I don't know how people do it. Um, <clears throat> hmm? Oh shit! I didn't know that one would disappear too. Oh my god, it scared me. That was my first like misclick. Oh no, the misclick takes the time off. So it deters you. Oh, I didn't do so bad though. The game won't even play for you? Oh no. I don't know, maybe you need like, what's it called? Flash? player or something to play the game <clears throat> Susie thank you for the five gifted thank you thank you <clears throat> it is possible to finish all of them um I just haven't done it yet Mikoto Senpai and and uh Kotoka they are pretty good at this game and they played a lot and they've been close to finishing before Flash and the, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Sorry. That is something that I did not know. I did sleep. Did I sleep well? Um, I, I slept. I can say that. Uh, it was different because every time I need like specific pillows. You know, I'm one of those people. And when I go to a place or a hotel and they have these fucking non-existent pillows where once you put your head on it, it just suddenly disappears. I don't know what, like why that's a thing worldwide, but we need to get rid of that. What's the point of a pillow if it's not going to support you? I need the pillow to be there when I lie down. It just ghosts you. It just disappears. I need some substance. So good thing, you know, the Airbnb we were at, they had a lot of pillows. So, you know, I just stacked them up because when you stack up a lot of the, those like feather light pillows, eventually, you know, a little bit of substance is formed. So... You gotta make do. I did buy, so the pillow that I have right now, is, I've been testing it for a while to see if, you know, it does well with me and it's been okay so far. So I bought a smaller version that you can take to travel because, you know, the pillows on the plane are pretty shit. And then, you know, I know that the hotel pillow is not gonna measure up either. So, you know, you got to take things into your own hands sometimes. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so yeah, I have another pillow. I haven't used it yet because I haven't traveled again that much. I should have brought it, you know, I should have brought it with me to the mountains. That's the mistake that I made. Um, but yeah, I haven't used it yet. The travel, the travel version, I mean. Um, oh, that got rid of a lot of them. Whoa, this one is like, this one's going a little crazy. Um, bum, bum, ba -da, ba -da. <sighs> but what kind of, what kind of pills do you guys use? I was using this pillow from... Um, what's it called? Nectar for a really long time. To the point where, you know, it kind of got deformed because of how much I used it. Um, so that's why I've been trying new pillows. Because I, I want options. Um... But yeah, just in case if my current pillow doesn't work out anymore. Wait. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll just start moving up to here. Oh, damn. I can't get past like in the 130s. Oh my god, you guys have a lot of pillows. Hypoallergenic pillow? That sounds really good. That sounds like something I, I need. So I <clears throat> I got I got a pillow from Coop. I don't know if people know that brand. Coop pillows. Oh my god, wait, Mikoto Senpai was in the stream? Oh my god, Choto. Mikoto Senpai. Wow! Hello! Wait, wait, wait. How do I? Let me go back to your message. Uh, add as moderator. Yay. Hello. Konnichiwa, senpai. Uh, ohayou gozaimasu. Genki. Karatairu. Ima asobimasu. Totemo tanoshi. Metsa tanoshi. My high score only like hyakusanju. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so nervous now. I gotta... Okay, let's try and play a serious, serious one. To see what I can get. Because... Okay, let's see. Uh-oh.
No. Ah, uh, I didn't do well. Shit. <laughs> let me try. Let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> No, I got nervous. E. Oh, shoot. Glad you like it, Uki. Yonko Jozu. Arigato gozaimasu. Bye. Oh. Yonko Jozu. Mada Mada. Best you got was 175? Fuck, you're crazy, dude. What the? <laughs> yeah, I just stay in the 130s. Yeah, maybe if I relax more and. Yeah, you can mix colors. That's how you get, like, nice combos and you can get rid of stuff faster. But. That stuff is kind of hard. Kind of hard for my little pea brain, you know. Your best is 200? What the fuck? 200 is the max. That means you got rid of the entire board. What the fuck? How the hell did you do that? Oh my god. Okay, well, you know, I'm not jealous or anything. I'll get there one day. <clears throat> um, let me think. What else did I? There's a colorblind mode. Look, right here. Colorblind mode. If you want uh if you wanted to play. Um I'm trying to think of what other stories, because there's not much else. Um, I kind of wish that I went on another break so that I had more time to relax. But it is what it is. And I'm just glad that I went on a break, period. <laughs> so... okay um ooh, that was a good one i like that <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I want to go on another break soon. One where I just, you know, sleep all day and I don't do anything. That sounds like a very nice break to me. Um... It was, it's hard because, you know, when you go to places like that, like small towns, um, you only have like a limited time and you want to get a lot of things done. You want to do as much stuff as possible so that you don't, you, you, you maximize the time that you have. And that's okay. I just wish that, uh... I had a little more time to, you know, get some more sleep. <laughs> but that's okay. It is what it is. Hmm? <gasps> 144! Yay! Oh, Masayan, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. De Ukini, I miss you. I got home and I was like, oh my god, hi baby, do you miss me? Whatever. He doesn't give a shit. He don't give a shit. He took the he took the pets. He took the pets and was like, yeah, keep petting me. <laughs> it's fine though. I'm sure he missed I'm sure he missed me. Because I'm the one that feeds him and gives him shelter. Oh my god, Mikoto Senpai, why did you <laughs> she tweeted about me? How do I read this? Karatairu ga hayari hajimete iru yoja. Hehe. Oh, Katie, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Let me retweet. Color tile is so addicting. That's why I'm playing it right now. You can just keep going and going until you get a good score. <laughs> 144. I just need to be faster. Oh my god. Oh no. Shit. I had one good moment where I went fast, but 
my brain's just not working that fast, I guess. Because I'm so exhausted from all the nature and the hiking. Color tile tournament sounds fun. I'm just so sad that I'm not like as good as I would like to be. Maybe I could be a commentator instead. Ah, uh, it is relaxing. Um, I can't get out of like the 140 range. So hard. I feel like if I close my eyes, I'll still see the tiles. Yeah, you'll start dreaming about them. Match the tiles. Match them all. <laughs> Um, where should I go on break next? I do want to go somewhere that's not that loud. That way I can actually get some sleep. Beach? My skin is quite sensitive, so I'll probably burn. <laughs> I don't really tan, I just burn. <laughs> yeah, a nice break in my bed and I just never leave. Um, oh, I forgot. I have another, I do have one more story. Um, so while we were there, we did go to um, a little spa. So I, I got a massage. I got a full body massage um, by this man. <clears throat> um, and it felt so good. I kind of wanted the massage to be, I wanted it to go for longer. I don't really get massages because um, I don't really go outside, <laughs> um, but I know that I need it. So it was nice to get a nice full body massage. Um, it was, I will say it was nice to feel a man's hands all over me in a respectful, non-sexual way. It felt very nice. Um, 
he he had really good hands and he was really good at what he was doing it was nice because the you know when you take off your robe and you go under the blanket there's like two layers and so he would pull off the top layer and then feel around like my body part through the second layer before you know taking it off and actually getting to work so i thought that that was um i thought that that was nice somebody who you know respects what they do respects the people that they're working with before you know touching the skin just trying to feel around for what's going on <clears throat> through the through the blanket um but yeah it was very nice i had a good time i wish that i was there for longer and did more like treatments or whatever look at all this blue in this one section oh i just got so lucky um Yeah, I wanted, I really wanted it to go on for longer. I feel like I have so many knots, you know, in my back and whatever that I need to get rid of. Sorry, I'm so quiet right now. I just got really quiet because I'm focusing. 150, yes! Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> um, Some of you trying to make it weird in the chat. All it was was a nice full body massage that I got from the masseuse who was very nice and had really nice hands and you know he's just good at what he does. Yeah I'm getting better. Now I want to go get more massages. Uki has the talent to achieve full score. No, 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 no. I am still bad. Long time. I have a long time to go. <clears throat> um, but after the massage, after the massage, there was, you know, the, the hot room or whatever, the heat room where you go in and sweat and then there's a steam room um it was my first time going into a what do you call it like a hot room <laughs> um i don't know if i enjoyed it to be honest because you know you just sit there and you s and you sweat and that's and that's it. <laughs> um, 
Um, so I started, you know, I sat in there and I, I sweat. And then it was time to go into the steam room. And let me tell you. You know, if there's a little steam in a room, I think that's nice. But if the room is full of steam, I don't enjoy it. I do not enjoy that because it's it, it was hard to breathe. Like it felt nice for like five seconds. And then I was like, how the fuck do you breathe in here? Because every time you inhale, you inhale steam, you exhale, you exhale steam. And it's just like, you never get a, a, a moment to breathe in actual air. So that concept was very confusing for me. I was not sure why people enjoy steam rooms. But, you know, maybe I just have to go into a different one. Maybe I just didn't go to the right one for me. Who knows? Um, yeah, maybe I just have to go to a different, like, spa. Oh, 152! <gasps> maybe I just, I just have to go to a different spa or a different salon that maybe has a less intense steam room. What do you mean you've never been to a hot room? Wherever you go is a hot room, Uki. Fuck, that was so smooth. Wow. I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you that. Even though, you know, it was some low-hanging fruit. <laughs> but yeah, overall it was a nice experience. Um I I wanna go to more spas in the future. Because at least in America, you know, I'm allowed into spas, even though I have tattoos. <clears throat> um, what was I going to say? There was something on the tip of my tongue. Shit. Um... Yeah, I want to go to more spas and stuff. Even though... Well, I want to go to the spas that... Uh, that... Don't have a lot of people. Because I'm insecure and I don't like my body. So... <laughs> yeah. Um... So I don't know, I don't really know about going to any local ones, but I'll try and look some up. But yeah, I am quite insecure. So it, it will it will probably take me a while. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, okay. I got confused. It's like, where's this? Where's the tiles? <clears throat> oh, oh, my God, I didn't even look at the time. <clears throat> you know, part of why I kind of, well, I don't know if this will actually happen. I do want to cover my body with more tattoos. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, well, firstly, my love of tattoos because I love them and I want more art on my body. But also if I have a lot of tattoos and I take my clothes off to go into a sauna or whatever then everyone will look at the tattoos instead of looking at my body 
I think that that is a good strategy. <laughs> Very good and foolproof. No. <laughs> like, you won't look at me. You'll just look at my tattoos. <laughs> That's my strategy. I didn't see that. Uh-oh. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no. This one is not going to be a good score. Yeah, that one was not good. I got flustered after I messed up. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I want more piercings. That's a good question. Um, if I do get more, obviously I'm not going to say where, but that's a good question. I thought about it. You know, I haven't gotten a new piercing in a very long time. So, you know, what if I just, what if I was a little crazy? I was just <laughs> spontaneous and just get one in a random place. That would be so crazy, right? That would be so insane of me. So random. Oh, do you guys hear Ukinia? It was a very small meow, but he's he's there. He wants food. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> my child. I am playing color tile. Please. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> I am matching the tiles that are colorful. like wait I still have time I was like really whittling it down 157 that's my highest score <clears throat> maybe 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 we can have a color tile tournament I don't know I don't know I don't know. <clears throat> I 
I don't know if I'll ever get 200. <clears throat> but I can sure try. Whoa! <laughs> I'm doing better. I'm doing better. <clears throat> I think the strat is... I think the strat is you... In the beginning, you try and like... Empty things out as much as possible. And then once you start seeing different combinations... That are like, long... Just like trust your gut. And just click them as much as possible oh my god should I go for 180 No, I messed up. Shit. That threw me. I was on a such a good run too. Uh, that's okay. 
<clears throat> it's addicting, right? <clears throat> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> no, I'm not doing good anymore. That's okay. with my like 172 Ah, oh my god. 
I was so focused. <clears throat> I wanted to, I wanted to focus more, but Shit. No, I was so focused. I thought I was doing so good. It's okay. Oh, Caramon, thank you for the 50 gifted. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh my god, thank you, thank you. You're always spoiling me. I hope that you have enough in your savings account, especially... Especially during this tax season. I've been really stressing out about it. Because. All of. Literally all of my money. Is going back to the government. Like. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Taxes is pain. I'm, I'm about to go all the way back to square one, not even joking. Um, so, you know, get your affairs in order. And if you can, if you can, um, do your taxes quarterly, I would suggest that you do that as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for the 50 gifted. Oh my God. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going.
Oh, shit. If I had a little more time, I think I could have... Ah. <clears throat> Welcome back from school. I hope you're not too tired. Please rest. Take a little break before you start, you know, studying or doing your homework. And don't ever apologize for coming late. I will always be here. <clears throat> so close. I know. So close to 170. <clears throat> I'm getting there, yeah. Oh, Polka, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Wookie in chat, I'm going to queer prom this weekend. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Your school has a queer prom? That is so crazy. Things have come a long way. I'm so glad. Are you going with a special someone? Or are you going with friends? That sounds really fun. <laughs> I wish... Back then... That was a thing for us too, but... I love that you... Your generation is experiencing it. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, I love people sharing their little stories. Yeah, I'm glad that people now get to have things that were, that used to not be... <clears throat> allowed because it just kind of shows you know growth even though times are still you know rough out here um at least there's still growth your school decided who goes with who that's fucking weird why would you why would you do that that is fucking weird yo sometimes i <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes I sit here and I think about how, like, straight people are not okay. Is it just me? I uh, know. I don't think so. But, like, straight people are not okay right now. Or they, they were never okay to begin with.
I had to think about that one. I wasn't sure if that was the right color. Oh, I got one right as the timer went off. <clears throat> what type of luggage do you like to use for short trips? I usually bring a small carry-on and a backpack. Yeah, that's usually what I bring. I don't want to weigh myself down too much. <clears throat> Sometimes this anchor just weighs me down. <laughs> I'm in too deep. <laughs> Damn, I did not do well that time. My my brain was lagging so much. Ooh. Let's try again.
shit. Everything was like... All these double colors were throwing me off. <clears throat> oh, what happened? Wait. Hey, Ugi, been a lurker since debut. Just wanted to say I love your bravery and strength, and you've helped me stay sane during my therapy journey. Oh my god, thank you so much for such sweet words. Oh my god, you're a real one. You've been here since day one. Hi. <laughs> um, But yeah, thank you so much for the sweet words. I'm really glad. You guys keep me sane. Also, during my therapy journey. <laughs> um, So... I'm very thankful as well. As much as you are thankful to me, I'm thankful to you and everyone else in this community. <clears throat> I think we all keep each other sane. And we also all keep each other in check. So, that's another important thing. I did know you. Know you'd you guys. <laughs> You know, every week is hard. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Every week is difficult. Okay? Every day is difficult. So, you know, if we can just have this time together where we just fuck around and play this color tile game and just talk and relax, then, you know, it feels like everything is a little bit better in the world. <clears throat> So as much as I know that I'm a lot of people's like comfort streamer, I think I, I think mainly I created this space to be comfortable because I wanted it to be a, my comfort place <laughs> as well. So I would say that we're pretty successful, right? No. Oh my god. No. Oh my my throat. What the fuck is happening? <clears throat> if I didn't fuck up, I think I could have done a lot better. Shit. I turn into a gremlin. Every time I every time I make a mistake in this game, I like I turn into like Smeagol or some shit. Oh my god terrifying
Shit. <clears throat> when they become far apart like that, it becomes a little bit harder to navigate. <laughs> um, oh my god. Oh. It's crazy. I'm not even getting sick of this game. And I've been playing it for like two hours. Fuck, I love color tile. <laughs> uh oh. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mia. Thank you for those sweet words. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, maybe. Hmm. Let's try. One more time. And then we'll see if I can start wrapping up and reading super chats. Yo, that was, that was bad. No, I can't. I can't end it on that. I can't end it on that. Sorry. I just can't end it on that.
Fuck me. <laughs> I got so serious and I still did bad. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> I'm not getting worse or something. Something's going on. And I'm just not getting any better a little any better. I don't understand what's happening. Shit. No. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Mapur, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Focus up. Focus up. Fuck. No. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to end the stream, but <sighs> color tiles is not letting me end the stream. Isn't that crazy? Damn. Color tiles really just wants me to stay in the game forever don't want me to leave 
So crazy. So interesting. crazy Shit. Oh my god. Why am I doing bad now? This is crazy. All of a sudden, I'm doing worse. How is that possible? I was doing so good before. And now all of a sudden, the game decides that it wants to turn on me. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I thought we had a thing going on. I thought we were good. Now what? Like... Suddenly I can't do things anymore? Shit. What the hell? Where did my 170 score go? Oh no. <sighs> this is not good. <laughs> not good.
shit. <sighs> okay, I'll leave it at this. I I'm, I'm satisfied with that. <sighs> oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I'm free. I'm free. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's read the things that you guys sent me today. Oh, wait, what the? I didn't see these. Gina and Lian. Thank you both for the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was... Ugh, okay, I'm glad that we went there. Um, okay, let me go ahead and read off the things that you guys sent me. I'm so glad to be back. Um, in case anyone is going to head off now, uh, tomorrow, hopefully I will see you for my next ASMR stream. I haven't done an ASMR stream in a while. Um, because my PC... Is always like making noise in the background um, but you know it's like nice white noise is what I'll say and I'll put like a little disclaimer in the description so no one's like disturbed um, but yeah we're gonna be doing more specific themed stuff I'm gonna do ear kissing and deep breathing um, I'm not good at role play stuff so <laughs> I won't really be doing that you know, pretending to be or role playing as, you know, someone. I'm just I'm just going to be me. <laughs> um but yeah, I hope to see you then. Um <clears throat> All right, let's go. Uh Yutun, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. 9 PP and Puffin, welcome to the Ukiverse. Um Katsura, Sherry Ors, Ignis, welcome back everyone. Hannah, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Mish, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jenny and Mars, welcome back. Eloise, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Fung Liu and King and Shio and Evil Little Floof and Mamotsu and Mopu. Welcome back everyone. Um, Maru Fries, Ra, welcome back both of you for 13 months. Thank you so much. And also, Elisa, welcome back for one year. Thank you, thank you. Um, Ellen, welcome back. I mean, sorry, thank you for the super. <laughs> sorry, thank you so much. Um, another Chi and Yuki, welcome back. Cheryl Bunny, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Uh, Jenna Marol, oh my god, I love that name. Uh, and letter J, welcome back. Susie, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Um, Fuzzy Navel, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Yuna, uh, Pisu. Um, Juan Yan Yan. Uh, Utatane, welcome back, everyone. Funi Funi, welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Dorahi, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> um, Raya, your babe. Uh, Zesu. And Kazuha, welcome back, everyone. Michi, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Uh, Moiso-chan, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Kokos, Libeo, Leviathan, Cafe, Hanatora, um, and Endless Crazy. Welcome back, everyone. Mini Mono. Welcome to the Ukiverse. Um, Liz and Abby. Welcome back. Chali. Welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Um, Liu Liang Liang. Welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Um, how I welcome back for a year as well. Thank you. Uh, Grace Chen. Uh, and Rinyan. Welcome back, both of you. Lion. Thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Kambam Sasham. Welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. 
Shiki, Asuna, Jenny, and Itsuka. Welcome back, everyone. Um, Mumu, and Mapur, and Yukimito, and Bai. Thank you all for the supas. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, Eritan, welcome back. You, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Um, Church of Shin Shinri's Pex. Uh, I know I read that before, but I read your message before. But thank you for the supa again. And Joanna and Sleeps, thank you for the supas as well. Uh, Tumao, Antoinette, uh, and Crystal, welcome back. Doramao, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Um, oh my throat, what's going on? <clears throat> uh, Jihan, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Iris, welcome back as well. Sunny Bear, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry things are rough right now, but like you said, things will settle down and then it'll pass. You're going to be okay. Um... <clears throat> Taiho, Chichi Wong, and Yuki Sawa. Welcome back, everyone. Layla, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. This game is so addicting. <laughs> uh, Noodle Doodle Doo, Nurai, and Ruzu. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> um, Susuyu, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Say, welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Uh, Plu, welcome back as well. Yisha, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Ray and Mapur, welcome back. Jojo, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Um, Mike Sovich, welcome back for 13 months. Thank you so much. Um, Joyce, welcome back for one year. Thank you, thank you. M and Kefi, welcome back. Zenobia and Mamotsu, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Ignis, thank you for the Akasupa. Thank you, thank you. Since you're back, let me raise you up real quick. If I could reach out and hold a star for every time you've made me smile, I'd hold the sky in the palm of my hand. This is also an apology for the rover pickup line. <laughs> oh my god. That's very sweet. That's actually a very sweet pickup line. Um, It's, it's very cozy. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Yui and Aki Fox, welcome back. Zile, thank you for the supa. Thank you, thank you. I won't let. I won't send it late now. Welcome back, my king. Can't wait for that smooching tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait to smooch everyone, including you. <laughs> um, Wifu, K, and Pico, thank you for the supas as well. Thank you so much. Pico, happy birthday. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Please treat yourself if you haven't already. And don't worry about English not being your first language. That's okay. We're all learning something. Don't be don't feel bad. It's good. Um Kai, welcome back as well. Thank you. Ray and Uki Fever, welcome back both of you for one year. Thank you so much. Uh, Puffy, Yuzun, and Hoshiyuki, thank you all for the supas. Thank you, thank you. And 15, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me try and open Streamlabs. <clears throat> Olivia, welcome back as well. Thank you. <coughs> Ooh. My throat. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this wants to load. I don't know. Mm hmm. Oh. 
Also, let me find... Oh, Pew Pew, welcome back as well. Thank you so much. Um, Let's raid Dopey. He's playing Bug Fables, um, his favorite game in the whole world. Um, I, I, I definitely want to stream it soon because he talks so highly about it. And then, you know, we can say, we can say purple loves magenta again oh, oh wait okay i think it has loaded i'm not sure from where we where we are up to but okay i'm gonna read from here um nana kusagayu thank you for the two donations Kai, thank you for the two donations as well. Butter Yui, thank you for the donation. Uki Veal Lover, <clears throat> thank you for the donation as well. Thorn of the Je Thorn of the Lily. What the f oh my god. Why did I <laughs> almost said Thorn of the Jelly? Thorn of the Lily. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Um, and also happy belated birthday. Sorry I couldn't wish you happy birthday on the day. But I hope you had an amazing birthday. If you haven't treated yourself, please do. And thank you for spending time with us. Um, 19, thank you for the donation as well. <clears throat> and Tri Princess, thank you for the donation as well. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, you got the Sakura Scrunchy. I hope you put it to very good use. Thank you so much for, for ordering it. Um, also, Vishu, thank you for the Supa. Thank you, thank you. It's my first time joining... Ow, I bit my tongue. <laughs> my first time joining your stream until the end. Um, because I have holiday today, I, I'm used to watching VODs. Thank you for streaming. Also, Stargazers, you're so warm. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching until the end. Welcome, welcome. Um, And Rue, welcome back for 13 months as well. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and... Um... Let's go ahead and raid Dopey, and you guys know what to write. Purple loves magenta. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the ASMR. I'm low-key pretty nervous because I haven't done ASMR in a while, and I hope that I can um, do the triggers justice. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for ASMR. I hope you guys have fun in Dopey's stream playing Bug Fables. Uh, make sure to read his chat rules and show him a lot of love and support. Mwah. See you tomorrow. More of those smooches tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you for such a warm welcome back, even though it was only four days. Bye-bye. <laughs>